somebody different and somebody in one ear, somebody different in the other. This person in the moon position that we're talking about, that being the queen of coins, this could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And this being in the moon position is going to talk about somebody that you may be dealing with in your personal life. This could be a family member, a very close friend, business partner, spouse. This could be your mother, like I said. Or this could be some energies that you may be putting out. I'm going to go ahead and place the rest of the cards, Aquarius. Okay. The Jupiter position. The Saturn position. And the outcome. All right, and we'll flip those over momentarily. So now this could talk about somebody who uh, could be living beyond their means. The Queen of Swords, I'm sorry, the Queen of Coins upright, and there seems to be some sort of delay here. Seems to be some sort of delay with my camera. Maybe in editing it will, because it's a slight delay, but maybe it'll fix itself in editing. Anyway, upright, she's this beautiful queen of coins. This is somebody who is consistent, who's loving, who's caring. This is somebody who feels like that if the home base is secure and comfortable and peaceful and all of that good stuff, that they, uh, you know, this is like a safe ground. This sets a great foundation for whoever it is that they deal with within the home or within the private life to go out and be whoever they can be. Now, when she's reversed, this could be about somebody who's paying too much attention to other people's business and maybe not taking care of their own. This could be somebody who's spending too much money. You know, uh, this could be somebody who's not wanting to deal with what's going on in real life and so they drown their sorrows and maybe doing a whole lot of shopping you know just doing unnecessary stuff I think the good news is the benefit for that always in my uh, uh, opinion is that it goes into the home so while you may find yourself in debt you, at least your house looks cute so this could be somebody that you are dealing with or this could be, you know, you. Now, like I said before, this could also be this one person in your ear. Because I feel like you've got some back and forth going on. And I actually feel like... Aquarius, you could be trying to make some sort of decision between two people. It could be this queen of coins reversed. Uh, and like I said, you know, this, if this is somebody that you are, and this may be somebody that you're already with or uh, somebody that um, already knows that you have feelings for them or vice versa, vice versa. Um, I feel like this is somebody that you're already dealing with personally. But, you know, I wonder if this is somebody that you're dealing with, Aquarius, if they're not possibly taking advantage of you. And I feel like they're in your ear about something. And, you know, when I say taking advantage of you, I don't know that they are doing it on purpose. What I think is, you know... It's not so much of, of, of taking advantage as it is maybe taking you for granted. And I feel like this person, if this is somebody that you are dealing with, maybe is spending too much money. I feel like they're in your ear about something too, and this may be involving that money, but it's kind of hitting you personally. Now we've got in the Mercury position, the Queen of Cups. Again, there's a, a delay and it's driving me nuts. The Queen of Cups, this beautiful thing, you know, she is um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We're about to have a solar eclipse in the sign of Pisces, too. 
So we're in between eclipses as I make this video, but it's very, very late. I also forgot to mention Happy Valentine's Day. So anyway, Aquarius, I'm wondering if you are already in possibly involved with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but you have your eye on, or somebody maybe that you work with, somebody in your neighborhood, somebody from your childhood, somebody that maybe you communicate with over social media, something like that. There's some dialogue back and forth between you and this person. But um, somehow she's just out of your reach, Aquarius. I think that you desire her, but she seems to be just out of your reach. And maybe it's because this is somebody that you work with. And, you know, maybe you have a policy about not getting involved with people that you work with. So there may be something between the two of you, but uh, somebody may be hesitant. Because you guys work together because this is happening in the world. Now this uh, could also be somebody, like I said, that you may run into day to day. It could be somebody that you uh, dialogue with on social media. And there's something mysterious about this person. I feel like there's some type of unfulfilled longing. I just feel that. I don't know. I don't know why you feel like you can't get to this person. But it seems like there's something going on that makes her either unavailable or maybe you feel like there's some very mysterious things going on with her. And, you know, maybe you're digging for some answers. And maybe you've got somebody in your ear telling you something different. Maybe she's saying one thing and somebody else is in your ear telling you something different. You know, depending on who this Queen of Coins is. Now... The Queen of Coins, because she's reversed, I'm going to say at this point that if you do have two people in your ear, Aquarius, telling, you know, kind of going back and forth with you, um, the Queen of, this Queen of Coins person uh, may not be the person that you want to listen to. But, you know, it, it, it's definitely going to gonna be up to you to come to... Uh, some serious truth. I think the serious truth, though, is around this mystery woman. You're going to find out about it. That lunar eclipse in Leo, or this, this space between this lunar eclipse in Leo and this eclipse that we're about to have in Pisces, I think you find out who's telling the truth. And, you know, when it comes to this person, your money, your vitality uh, within personal relationships, how you shine within your creative expression, how people... Or how you see this other person. Like this is all good. Aquarius, I am wondering if this Queen of Cups is in fact somebody that you work with and is possibly your, uh oh, I'm sorry, your supervisor, your boss. Somebody who has some sort of authority over you. Who maybe holds a higher position than you do. And remember I said before that you may be trying to make some decisions about whether to move forward. Or they may be trying to make that decision about you. And maybe it is because of some positions that you hold. 
But I feel like this person may be your lead, your manager, your supervisor, your boss. If you are dealing with somebody at work. Now, if you're not dealing with somebody at work, if you know, this is just somebody that um, you could possibly be getting ready to have some dealings with. If you're not already, like, they are everything. They are everything. Aquarius, like I'm wondering if this is somebody, okay, you could be dealing with several different people. Because I, I you know, this is a Leo card. I mean, it's the sun for God's sake. And, you know, it gets me to thinking about, again, some more that we just had this lunar eclipse in Leo, and this is sun in Leo, you know, and the sun and the moon, about the yin and the yang, and the, the balance, and you have got this judgment card here, which is talking about getting to the truth, you know, finding the balance, and you've got those two, this delay is driving me insane. You've got those two pillars on either side. So, yes, there's definitely, I think, some decisions to be made, some truths to get to. But I really think that it is all good. This Venus situation. And Venus, Venus is about to retrograde. So, mm -mm 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 -mm. Aquarius. This Venus retrograde is, so far as I'm concerned, only going to add five onto the ten of whatever it is that's coming out between this lunar eclipse that we just had in Leo and this solar eclipse that we are about to have in Pisces. And, and when I looked at the counter when I said that that was 22, 22. Ooh, what's this? What number is that? 20. Ah. These twos. Personal relationships. The moon is currently in Libra. We're talking about balance again. We're talking about being fair. We're talking about diplomacy. <sighs> Never fear, Aquarius. Whatever decisions you make, I think, will be based on the truth. You are divinely guided. You are divinely guided to the light. You will make the right decision. Whomever this is in your ear, kicking that nana, don't worry about it. You are divinely guided, okay? So, you know, I feel like with this seven of wands reversed, maybe you've been giving your power away to this queen of coins because she has been in your ear trying to convince you of something or maybe taking you for granted. Um, Aquarius, this queen of coins is on the other side of the truth. And I feel like you've been giving your power away to this queen of coins. And this is somebody that you are already emotionally tied to. So I do understand. I do understand. It may be hard to break away from whatever power that is that this person may have held over you. Because Pluto also talks about uh, power struggles. Okay, and then with us moving into this eclipse in Pisces, that's going to take us to a tricky, foggy, blurry uh, place where we are not clearly seeing boundaries. And I think that what that may be what you're going through right now, Aquarius, which is really strange for you because Aquarius certainly sees and recognizes boundaries. Aquarius may choose to bust past those Boundaries regardless because that's what Aquarius does. Aquarius is the ultimate non-conformance. The rebel. The uh, uh, the innovator. You know, I, I feel like Aquarius, like Aries, is a let's get it started type energy. 
I just think that Aquarius is not as impulsive and not as uh, quick to change their mind or direction as Aries because Aries, I mean, because Aquarius is a fixed sign. So whenever Aquarius decides to go out on whatever tangent it is that it's going to go out on, Aquarius is going to stay there for the long haul. But you know, I often feel like Aquarius and Aries are definitely alike, and like I said, they they get it popping. If nobody else is well is willing to move the crowd, Aquarius will certainly do it, and Aries will too. So, you know, for whatever reason, though, Aquarius, I feel like you have in fact been giving your power away to possibly this Queen of Coins. I feel like this Queen of Cups is the truth. And I said truth, T-R-O-O-F. You heard the truth. Okay, so let's see what's in the Jupiter position. Ooh, ooh, we got the two cups. <laughs> You're gonna be blessed. You're gonna be blessed with the connection that it is that you are trying to get. You will make the right decision. You will find out the truth of the matter. You will make the right decision. Aquarius, you know, we got two cards left to turn over. I don't want to get all overly excited. But you know, I mean, goodness, I don't know. I really don't see how this could turn too bad. Um, now, so we got the two of cups there. Remember I told you we've got these two pillars here. So, you know, we got a couple of twos going on. We got uh, the judgment card is 20. So we are definitely talking about uh, personal relationship, relationships, and I think we are talking about the coming together. Okay, with Jupiter and Venus being retrograde. I did mention this Queen of Cups being possibly a childhood friend, maybe somebody from school i just feel like the this queen of cups is somebody that you know this queen of coins may be somebody that you have already been with you know or that you may be in a current relationship but i don't think this queen of cups is a stranger now whether you're a boss whether or not this is somebody that you went to school with that you know with whatever the case may be i do think that for whatever reason there's a status thing going on there's a a power thing, a position thing that is going on, possibly with this Queen of Cups. Uh, nonetheless, I, I think it's somebody you know. And with the Two of Cups being here in the Jupiter position, and Jupiter is currently retrograding in the sign of Libra, which rules uh, uh relationships it rules balance i've been talking about balance um and the moon is currently in libra <laughs> so jupiter is retrograded in the sign of libra and venus is getting ready to retrograde which is this sun card here i'm just wondering if some of you aquarians are in fact about to be dealing with somebody that you already know you already have or had some sort of connection with some of you aquarians could you know be revisiting this could be an old relate relationship and this could be the coming back together now let me say I, like i said before you get to the truth you get to the bottom and this could be the two of you coming back together for possibly some closure because i have to say venus going into retrograde in fact makes the, it makes us visit these revisit some of these old relationships people pop back up and they could pop back up because there's some things that may have gone on that have been left unfinished, unclosured. 
And you know, now it it's it's universally time for those things to be taken care of so that one can move on. Now, I got to say it is ill-advised to start new relationships while Venus is retrograded. But you know, I kind of feel like when people pop back up, and I think it depends on you know, um the overall health of the relationship to begin with. Because some people, just because they split up, break up, or not together, don't have access to each other, it's not always a bad thing. Sometimes things just happen. So, you know, while Venus is retrograding, I don't say 100% that you, 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 you shouldn't deal with those relationships as we move forward. Aquarian, Aquarius, if you are going back, the way that I see these cards, if you are going back to a relationship and you've thought it over and you've weighed, you know, the, the pros and the cons and you know the truth of it and you're not going to let this queen of coins possibly, like I said, talk that nama in your ear and distract you. I think this coming together that, that's going to happen between you and somebody is blessed by the stars. And, you know, after we finish up this solar eclipse in Pisces, then it's this back and forth between Leo and Aquarius. This is where we are now. But this is where eclipse season is taking us. We had this eclipse season of Virgo and Pisces for the last couple of years. But now we are entering this Leo Aquarius back and forth. You see what I'm saying? So really, you know, it's a, this is all good, Aquarius. I feel like with this Venus retrograde, I feel like if it's anybody within the 12 signs of the Zodiac who can benefit from this Venus retrograde, it's you. It's you. And I think it's going to be all good. Just don't give your power away to Miss Thing right here. So anyway, in the Saturn position... We've got the Six of Swords, and, and you know, this is going to talk about, uh, I think there's going to come maybe a, a possible temporary opportunity for you to find out that information that you need to find out to get to the truth. It's just like right there. Again, like this Queen of Coins I said before was possibly something was out of your reach. There's some information that you're going to find out, I think. Um, here in a moment, that's going to make this within your reach. And I feel like whatever information it is that you get when you recognize that it is in fact, and again, this is somebody, I don't care what, you know what, <laughs> Aquarius, this, this queen of cups, this is somebody you know. This is somebody that you've known a while. And so, I think that something's going to come along. You're going to find out something. Find out something that's going to free you from whatever it is that has been holding you back from this Queen of Cups. And this is under the, 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 the energies of Mercury in Aquarius. And Mercury uh, will be moving into Aquarius. Um, okay, let me see. I might be getting a little ahead of myself, but it's coming real soon. <laughs> That's a shame. Because um, Mercury is still in Capricorn. So it's got to go through Pisces. No, it's got, no, no. Okay, I'm right, I'm right. I'm getting Aquarius and Pisces mixed up. Mercury will be entering your sign pretty soon. I don't have the exact date, and I should be ashamed of myself because I am an astrologer first, but this just says to me once again, Aquarius, that it is all good. It is all good. The only thing that you need to be watchful of, so far as I'm concerned, is this six of wands. I mean, I'm sorry, this seven of wands. Giving your power away to this queen of coins.
It really is all about you and Leo. It really is. And I'm a Leo, so I'm glad. The outcome card is the Four of Wands reversed. Interesting. Now, from what I understand, the Four of Wands is, if I'm not mistaken, the only card in Tarot whose meaning is pretty much the same, reversed as it is upright. So, if there has been a reason that you have not been able to come to this place of complete uh, happiness, if you haven't been able to fulfill um, your desire of solidifying a relationship with this Queen of Cups, I think that this information that you're going to get with this Six of Swords is like right now just out of your reach, but it's coming to you. And it comes in your reach to help you reach this Queen of Cups. Um, where there has been some sort of possible breakdown in communication, which I think is being caused by the Queen of Coins, this Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, that turns itself around. And it may be that you, being the Aquarian that you are, come up with that unique idea, that aha moment. That solution, like I said, that had been just out of your reach, that had been keeping you from making this everything that you wanted to be with this Queen of Cups, whatever it is that had been restricting you, it, ooh, it's her. It's the Queen of Coins. Check it out. This four of, 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 uh, This four of wands reverse is Venus in Aries, which Venus is currently in Aries white right now. And I think that Venus in Aries is causing this queen of coins to take you for granted. Like I said before, She's on a me, 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 me kick. Gimme, 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 gimme kick. And she's in your ear on the other side of the truth. And I feel like this has something to do, aside from the fact that maybe this is your boss or your supervisor or somebody who has some sort of status. This queen of coins is helping to create limitations around whatever is to come of the relationship, I think, with you and the Queen of Coins. But it's like I've been saying the whole video, it's all good. You are divinely guided. You will see and recognize the truth. And it'll be all good. You'll be able to come to a place of solidifying this relationship with the Queen of Cups. And it may not be this month. But you are headed in that direction. Take your power back from the Queen of Coins. Because possibly, too, is something that could be keeping you from making the moves that you want to make is because the Queen of Coins is spending all your coins. And you don't have the power to move. Because you're putting all of your energy into this situation. And, you know, maybe it's keeping you from... Um, coming to some sort of completion with the situation with the Queen of Cups. Okay. If I hadn't said before, we have one, two, two major arcana, two court cards.
So, yeah, you got a couple of people that you're dealing with that are going to help you really uh, uh, they're going to aid within your learning of uh, some particular lessons in the month of February. But you get what you want. It really is all good. You get what you want. And, and I think you have fun doing it. You know, aside from this right here, because, you know, really, even though she's in your ear and she may be taking you for granted right now, this is an easy fix with her. You're all powerful. You, you, you're a major arcana. And she's a court card. You actually have all the power besides this Venus person who, like I said, is the sun. And I think it may, this Queen of Cups and this um, sun card, I, I, I really think are related. I think they're one and the same. But you and her together, very, very powerful. Now, I will say this is going to be like a Pluto sun thing if the two of you hook up. Pluto Sun is a hell of a conjunction in astrology. Oh, wow. You know, that could be really, really, really intense. And I'm not going to get off into all of the astrology here, but Pluto conjunct Sun. Wow. Uh, I, I'll, t I'll put it this way. If these energies are used correctly... This is a hell of a power couple. Man, you guys could have the world by the balls. <laughs>